Aside from the practice-based evidence with the trap ease technique from over the past 15 years, there's been plenty of case studies and testimonials. But the need and support is there for clinical research to validate patients' experience with hard data. The founder of the trap ease technique's own research on overactive bladder has been exhaustively studied by Harvard, Duke, and Emory plus more well-known institutions for research. As the chairman of the Ethical Medical Review Board that's approved through the Office for Human Research Protections from the NIH, Dr. Justin takes clinical research extremely seriously. His review board has experience with reviewing clinical trials for diverse categories such as Botox, medical devices, and compounded drugs. Additionally, his IRB reviews CBD products, dental devices, cosmeceuticals, phase 4 trials, patient registries, plus more. Therefore, as an integral part of the TRAP Ease Technique team, a board certified clinical research physician will assist us to create its study protocol. Dr. Justin firmly believes that once one's TRAP Ease Technique clinical experience reaches a certain level, practitioners will be able to regularly predict with a high degree of accuracy their patient's progress. And his basis for that is that one of its main hallmarks is that the subjective equals the objective. This means that what practitioners feel is identical to what their patients experience. It's for that reason why Dr. Justin can predict with a high degree of accuracy how much improvement his patients have experienced without them ever telling him. To find out more about how you can participate in TRAP Ease Technique research once its study protocol is ready to be rolled out, please join us on our next webinar where Dr. Justin will discuss that plus a whole lot more.